Hey, 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 this is Thrill. As promised, uh, here's a video on the new dimensions. Sorry if I sound a little frustrated, but I started recording and the damn game froze as usual. But anyway, okay. So uh, the first thing you'll notice on these new dimensions is um, that when you go to enter, the energy only costs 10, it used to cost 50. And uh, so that's kind of a good thing. Um, a bad thing that people are noticing is if you look at the bonuses I've got over here, the um, there's no longer any will crystal bonus. Although I've finished these, you get the, the resistance bonus, but no um, will crystal bonus. Um, this one here, here's what you get per level for experts. I've just cleared one tower, and uh, which I was just doing, trying to record the first video for you guys. But anyway, so we'll go ahead and enter here. Uh, like I said, it only costs 10 energy now. Boom. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at over here is you got these keys. I'll explain those a little bit more. Mine rewards, I'll explain in a bit. Um, the dimensional map, this shows you the size and how many levels there are for the dimensions. Basic dimensions, obviously, are going to be a lot smaller. These expert ones, altogether, there are 14 um, areas that you need to clear to get 100%. And then there's three additional kind of bonus levels that are possible to get. Um, and I'll go more into that in a little bit. Um, so as you see, you can see there's three different colors here on the map. Uh, these gray areas are areas I haven't been to yet, and the brown areas are areas I've been to but haven't cleared, and then the green area is the map where the areas that I've cleared already, so that means, you know, once you kill a tower, it turns green, so you know um, if you have to leave and come back, okay, hey, I've cleared this area, I can just move on to the next area. Uh, now, some important things about these higher level dimensions, the basic ones don't have them, but these keys and these portals and stuff, um, I don't know why they've made it kind of overly complicated, which is why so many people are getting confused about these things, but basically all these portals are is the entry to the next level. There's nothing special. Um, so how this thing works is you start out here in the first, first area, and your basic route wants to take you to here. This is the final one, and so if you just kind of follow the line along there, that's your main areas. Now you have a couple areas here that are kind of offshoots that are um, have this solid line. That means you, you are going to find an entrance to these that's guaranteed. There's stuff in these that you want to get. Some, well, there's things in here you have to get. Uh, for example, this gold key, which I'll explain in a minute. Uh, but you will find the entrance to these things every time. Uh, these, the expert ones, and all the ones I've done, they're all, they've all been set up the same. So uh, once you figure out the pattern, you know it's not hard to do. Now these ones with the dotted lines, they're something a little bit more special. You're not going to find the entrance to those every time. It's just kind of a bonus if you do. And if you do, it takes you to a, a, just a little tiny map that's only like three by three and there might be absolutely nothing in it or there might be like a little mine with bound balance in it which is where this thing over here mine rewards comes into play uh, for the expert dimensions it gives you 50 bound balance per hour for 24 hours so basically twelve dollars worth of bound balance um, just for finding that thing and uh, but sometimes you won't find any or sometimes you'll get get the little thing I'll show you what the icon is in a minute Sometimes you'll get it, get all excited, go in there, and there's just absolutely nothing in there, or there's one of these stupid little shops. So, um, yeah, it's swing or miss on that one. Uh, I didn't find it yet for here. I obviously I haven't been over here yet, so I don't know whether I'll get these two over here. But anyway, um, so this is what these expert ones look like. Uh, it's 12 by 12, so a total of 144 spaces that... Um, can be cleared and can have stuff on them. The monsters are about the same, uh, but the rewards have changed quite a bit. Um, the uh, the master ones give, can give you 30 Sepulchrum, 30 Mara, um, and 60 resistance or 60 will shards. So the rewards for those have increased. However, the tower, which I killed already trying to do the first video, um, 
the rewards are the same as the master tower as the master uh, trials there they don't give you the big resistance crystals and the big will crystals anymore so that really sucks but uh, anyway um, another thing you'll find a lot of in these they're a little bit easier to find than in the old dimensions is these lost fortunes um, I've been getting a lot of bounty scrolls from them you can get the the dragon things for improving your dragon um, levels and a lot of things for I've been getting a lot of things for improving uh, for upgrading ring so that's been really nice that those things are easier to find you find these shops which suck of course they're just really overpriced garbage um, so over here we'll go before I show you that we'll go to icon info this shows you everything basically that I was just explaining locked dimension you haven't been to it yet occupied means you've cleared the tower available dimension means you've been to it but you haven't cleared the tower yet now that's what it looks like even if you just teleport to the dimension and you don't explore any space you can later teleport to it um, boss fort silver chest uh, won't, I won't find that on this video that's there's one of these silver chests later on to open the silver chest you have to get the silver key and these silver chests uh, every single one I've opened and every one that Bia has opened gives 250 energy which is kinda nice but if you're just trying to burn energy then you know you don't really need that secret portal that's where um, if you happen to find one of these and you teleport into it, you'll get that little black dot on there. Just, ooh, you got a secret. So, nothing big there. Gold portal requires a gold key to open. All that that means is uh, the gold, all that the gold portal is, is the entrance to the next level. So, instead of having, you know, this, it will have a little, a little thing inside there, which I'll show you instead of this. This is just your regular arrow, same as um, the last dimensions, just to get to the next portal. Gold, and you need the gold key to open the gold portal, and once you go in this dimension, this little icon appears here and shows you there is a gold key that you need to find in there. And you cannot go past this without the gold key. It is, you know, you have to get through there. So you do have to clear all of these different areas to find the different stuff. The silver chest, I believe, is in this one over here, and the silver key somewhere in here, and I think there's another gold key in here. So you do have to do all of these little extra things. Now, when you're going through this map, um, you'll find the tower. They're easy to find. I'll show you another one of those in a few minutes. Um, these, like I said, look the same. Now this, uh, something under unpredictable is behind this door. All that is, is the entrance to this over here. They can't really have two of these because then you won't know where the heck you're going. So they have this little icon that just goes to this section over here. Now one nice thing about this, um, when you have opened a section over here, you can just teleport directly to it. I mean, you can click on the icon and it'll run to it and whatever, or you know, if you found and, and done whatever you want to do, you can just click on that icon over here. Now over here, some of the stuff is the same. Um, monsters in the section cause more damage if your resistance is lower than blah blah blah. The old uh, dimensions had that. Most people ignore all this information over here, but um, if you end up, if you're a, a lower level player or a weaker player and you're getting your butt kicked, it might be because your dimension, or your resistance for this particular dimension is low, and the bosses end up, or the monsters end up hitting you a lot harder because your resistance is low. So just pay attention to that if you're dying really fast. Uh, most players who've been playing a little while won't have that, won't have this kind of problem. Um, now this one, this is important because somebody was saying, how do I know when I, when I'm finished with it? Well, if once you've finished a tower, it will say this current dimension has been occupied. Um, so that means I have actually beat this dimension, this level of this dimension, and then gives you the uh, resistance effects, dark resistance plus 20%, and then here's the daily rewards that I'll get for this thing. Okay, so um, just to show you what it looks like, if you haven't beat the tower yet, it says defeat Udemon officer. Now, one thing you may have noticed is uh, I've actually made it all the way to this level, but I haven't finished this one yet. 
Now, the old ones, you had to beat each tower before it would let you move on. On this one, you don't have to do that. You can just find the, find the entrance uh, to the next level and just go. And then just keep going and going and going. Um, here, I would have to go back, get the key, then come here and I can open this uh, portal and just go on to the next one without beating the towers. Now, I don't really see a point in doing that. Um, unless you just want to finish the thing or burn up some energy or something, but I don't know. I don't really see a point in that. But anyway, so uh, we'll go back so you guys can see what the stuff looks like for the gold key. Dragon Essence. So you'll see this little dude, Thebes, running around. Well, he's not really running around. I'm running around, but he's sitting there. And uh, this is the guy that is holding that gold key. So we'll go ahead and attack him. Just lay the smack down. Okay, so over here you see dimensional key, uh, dimensional war earnings, gold key times one, and then you get some stuff. Yay, free stuff! Now some of these rewards are pretty good. You see five level two crystals. If you get this one, it sucks. Five revive times, energy will crystals. Pretty decent little rewards. But let's show you what the towers give now. Towers will be two waves of minions and then a big boss. And, okay. All guardians have been defeated, receive buffs and returns. Blah 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 blah. So no more energy from towers. Just that stuff. And then if we look at the map, now that's turned green. And I've got my gold key. So now I can go ahead over here. And see there's no arrow for the next entrance. But here is the gold portal. Portal requires a gold key to open. So we'll go ahead and enter that. And so this is what all your dimensions will look like when you enter them. Same as before, can't see anything. And here's really where some big changes, you can see where I am on the map now. Uh, here's where some big changes are, and here's where some people are getting confused. Um, we'll go here. Now see, dead tree blocks the way. Uh, that's dark dimension has the trees. Different um, elements have different things blocking you, but there are things that that will sit there and block you. But you may have also noticed as I move forward, now the stuff not just in not just where I stand is lighting up, but in front of me and around me. And now the um, my energy, instead of being charged one per step, it's being charged one per area that you reveal. So when I take a step forward. This will charge me two energy. And yes, these crappy things are still here all over the dang place. So that'll charge me two. Okay. So now that you see how that works, um, here's the kind of catchy part about this the functions removes all barriers on the map skill only works on this level so if I want to I can remove all of these things on the entire map but it's gonna cost me a hundred energy and then the other buff uh, here is shows where the officer is on the, the tower is on the map and only works on this level um, each of them cost a hundred energy hundred balance Personally, I don't like doing this, um, and here's why. 
you uh, another big change on here is you only have 1500 energy per day you don't have the 3000 anymore which makes dimension um, hot events really hard to do however um, another really nice thing is let's go back here you'll notice it doesn't charge you to attack monsters anymore or the towers mm -hmm. so the only thing that you're charged for is attacking uh, or for uh, lighting up new areas and then the final tower I believe costs 76 but uh, so a lot of people go into these and they just get annoyed by the things in the way they don't want to explore around it and so they just pay the hundred energy to get rid of them and uh, here's why I don't do that and why I, 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 I'm kind of against that. If you look at how many there are, like I said, there's 14 that need to be explored on here. 14 times 144 um, spots is a little over 2,000 energy. So if, if, you, if, if you want to complete an expert dungeon, uh, expert dimension in one day, it is very possible unless you start using this add function. If you start using this on every map, that costs you 1400 energy just right there. So now you're looking at 3400 energy just to complete one expert dimension. Um, and these, they're annoying, but they don't block you from getting to anything. You will find the tower, you will find the exit, and you will find every monster on the map with these things in the way. Um, they don't really prevent you from actually finishing the dimension itself um, but if you're one of those people that you just want to clear everything and you know whatever and you don't care if you finish the dimension or not yeah by all means waste your energy use these things uh, that's a good thing for um, dimension uh, hot events uh, that's a good way to just burn through some energy really fast because you know it does it 1500 actually is quite a lot if you're not using the function and since monsters don't cost anything anymore um, but so here's a couple tips for these things oh, I found the tower already simple enough but um, so uh, another good thing that we have going on on these dimensions that I really like and if if you want to completely clear these things we'll use this energy get rid of these things we'll go over here and if I go like this, you'll notice it clears all the all the black spots that I run past. So, what I recommend doing on these things is I run. Um, well, I generally will go in a line, one away from the edge. That way, I'm uh, clearing three lines at a time. And now, the uh, one way to do that would be just to keep going you know to clear another three and clicking one space at a time but what I like to do is just go and then I'll click this guy up here and he'll run all the way along there clearing that whole thing for me um, let's see. so we got that boom boom just cleared an entire row there just in a matter of seconds so uh, these obviously are a lot faster to clear if you know what you're doing um, and just don't get too frustrated with it a lot of people complaining about these on forums and, and guild and stuff like that and uh, I rather kind of enjoy it um, just try to use your energy wisely like I said you don't really need these these um, buffs on here unless you just want to burn some energy off real fast but the, uh, let's see if I can find it real fast, the exit. There we go. Boom, that's done. And I only explored like half of that, not even half of that map. Um, and so, uh, yeah, one tower, for each of these there's not two three two or three anymore on them the only thing that has more than one tower on it is this final level level there's a kind of bonus um, 
a, a bonus tower on the end, and that gives you uh, kind of the same rewards as the guy that gives the gold key, except they're double. So you can get 10 revives, woohoo, or uh, 10 will crystals, or 10 resistance crystals. So that tower is kind of nice, but you don't actually have to complete that to um, finish the dungeon. All you have to do is complete each tower, so 14 towers, and uh, you'll get that. So, um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. Um, the mine rewards, that uh, won't show anything unless you find one of these extra things and it happens to have one of those mines that gives bound balance in it. Then um, you can go in there and they'll have a little thing that says collect. You don't have to sit there and collect it every hour. When you come back, you can collect after 8, 10 hours, whatever. Um, if you have any more questions about this, uh, or if I missed anything, go ahead and just, uh, you know, message me on YouTube or, uh, you know, comment on YouTube or message me on my Thrill page. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages and stuff today um, since posting videos again, and uh, I love answering questions for you guys and love helping you out. Um, if there's anything else you want to know or anything else you want to see, let me know and I'll do my best to uh, help you guys out.